but in everything. There we go with those absolutes again. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God. I often say, at the end of the service, when we're talking about asking the Lord to forgive us, I often say that we simply pray. And what is prayer? Prayer is talking to God. That's one form of prayer. But if all you do when you pray is talk to God, well, let, let, me, let me ask you a question. If you had a friend who called you like every day or so, and maybe even several times a day, and when they called you, they called you and said, hey, how you doing? I was, I, well, you know, I just had Big Egg McMuffin. I think I'll have Big Mac for uh, lunch, and I'm going to Arby's for dinner. And the, uh, work's been hard today, so, you know, I hope you, that you make that better. And I'm kind of lacking peace if you can give me some peace and work out the thing with my kids. And, oh, I got a bill I didn't expect. If you could provide me for that, I sure appreciate it. Bye. Now, that wasn't just one, co- but every conversation was like that. Hey, Christmas is getting close. I just want to remind you, we need some extra funding around here because, you know, we got kids, we got Christmas, we got stuff going on, so you go ahead and hook me up. Thank you. If every time somebody called you and spoke to you like that, well, I'd get a little old, wouldn't it? That's what they make voicemail for, isn't it? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> But that's not the way conversations go. Conversations are two-way. And so part of prayer is indeed you talking to God. And take your burden to God. Go to God with your needs, all of your needs. No matter how small you think that, go to Him. Well, take everything to Him. And be anxious for nothing. And with thanksgiving, being thankful. But then after you are finished talking, don't hang up. Stop and listen. Because God wants to speak to you. 